Welcome back to an impromptu video of how to fuck up or how to try and repair your Range Rover Sport gear selector when it's broken. Um, I'm currently in a car park um, and the gear selector on the Range Rover has broken impromptu. So now I need to try and fix it. So it's a pain in the ass, I can tell you that. I'm uh, getting beeped out. I mean, I reversed and then tries to move and the button does not work. So I am now stuck in the middle of a car park with everyone beeping me. Um, Philly is about to arrive back from her trip and I need to get there, but I am stuck. So what I'm gonna do is fix this. So you've got to pry off the cover over the top of that and that one came out too. You've got to take out this T8 Torx bit here. So take that out too, and then you can access the button. Keep that because you don't want to lose this. That comes out, I'll put that in there. Now you should be able to take this out. Let me get into it. Right, so I'll go back to my fix on that in a minute. Um, I've run back out because um, I've caused all sorts of mayhem now. And the, uh, the guys have put the triangle out because I'm blocking everything. I'm late to get Philly from the airport. I need to find some super glue now because essentially what's happened is the button is plastic underneath and it's broken. So I need to stick it back together. Um, I need to find some super glue first. So let's find something that sticks in about five seconds. Right. Which is the quickest fucking glue. 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm getting that one. That's 60 seconds now. Let's go that one. And humanity, I've got to say, someone came up to me in the car park and was like, um, have you got a problem? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you can actually manually select the gear. Um, you can put it in gear basically manually without having to use this, this button. Um, so he's going to come and show me how to do that. I don't know how to do that, so I would have learned that at the same time. So let's pay for the super glue stick this button back together and get going. What a colossal pain in the dick. So once you've removed the T8 Torx from the T8 Torx bit from there, this bit will pop out and this bit will all fall out, um, which is, can we find it? Which is this whole section here. Then you have to pop off the selector from the top here, just pushing in those, which seems fine to do i did it with a screwdriver and then what had actually happened you can see here on the end i've super glued it back on there but the end of that had fallen off so i'm now i'm just trying to super glue it back together i just need to wait for this to dry right so i am back and we're rolling i am super impressed thank i actually watched a tutorial on youtube as well um, they fixed it slightly differently because mine was broken in a different way uh, ultimately, it looks like a slight design flaw because on that switch, it's plastic and there's a plastic arm that sticks out and it does that to push the trigger down, right? Um, or activate the button in that way. The end of this had come off as I just showed you and I had to then, fortunately the end was still in there. Um, so the video I had, they didn't have access to it. It clearly snapped, but they didn't have access to the previous piece that was in there. Um, so there was no chance of actually repairing it. So they used a metal um, split pin that they put on it to repair it. I don't have access to a split pin. I suppose I could have got one from the shop, um, but I had access to the small, small piece of plastic. Uh, luckily, I was actually at the hardware store. Uh, it just happened, you can see from the thumbnail, it would just happen to be that I was blocking everyone's access. So I had all of the staff out, they were putting in bloody, yeah, loads of stuff um, to reroute people to stop them beeping their horns and complaining the fact that I was blocking their, their path. Um, so yeah, great. But it's fixed. So what I did was super glue that back. Uh, it's super easy if you want to fix it yourself. If this happens to you and you lose um, the ability, all you will need is a T8 Torx piece to take that um, screw out. So what you need to do is pop the cover off the um, where it's got the reverse, neutral and drive. Just there, pop that cover off and it just um, run, run a 
uh, even a knife or whatever just around the edge and that will pop right off. Underneath you have the T8 Torx bit so take that, there's only one T8, T8 Torx bit bolt, um, take that out. Once you've got that out you will find that the trigger mechanism actually pulls back out so it pulls out towards you. So take that out and unplug it and as you do that you will see that you will have access to the hinge itself and the hinge is what you need to remove and repair. If you need to replace this because you don't have access to any of these parts that's how you would do it take that off um, and manage to do uh, replace that part I'm gonna order a new part for this because although I've super glued it clearly that's not that strong and so I will have to repair this uh, I'm literally out of time I've got so much to do and this was not ideal I've just lost minutes it, to be fair, that was the quickest, quickest fix I've ever done. And a, the lady from um, Leclerc was watching over me as I was attempting to fix it. And I felt immense pressure, I have to say, to try and fix the gear selector. And the guy I was talking to about, the Good Samaritan, that said there was a way of putting it into gear without um, actually using the trigger. He has an older Range Rover. And so that, that method wasn't present he didn't know where that was in mine, um, so that wasn't helpful. But at the same time, I appreciate the fact that he reached out to me and attempted to help me in that way anyway. But that was uh, that was a bit of a, um, a colossal pain in the arse, I have to say. Not something I was expecting. It out of, the, out of the blue, I just went to change gear and suddenly the the trigger didn't work anymore the trigger just dropped it, it had no it had no pushback um, so as I was trying to push it in nothing not a sausage and so that's if you find that that's what's happened so symptoms literally the trigger just stops working get yourself some super glue 10 seconds super glue is what I got guess what it worked in 10 seconds bonus um, yeah, I gotta go shopping. That's what the shopping got. Just in time, Philly's just messaged me to say she's landed. So I gotta go and get her now. Perfect timing, really. Note to self, must remember to take it easy on that trigger. Yes, these are Harper sunglasses, don't judge me, whatever. Um, that trigger's obviously a little bit sensitive. Jesus Christ, I look like I got really small eyes really close together. Don't say anything. Um, yeah, so I need to uh, I need to make sure I take it easy on that that trigger because obviously if you press it too hard, that looks like it's just going to snap off again. So I will order a new one, try and get that in, and just replace it. Replacing it's super easy; uh, it's not a problem. But that is a, a really stupid design. But fortunately, it's just in time. I managed to fix that, which I'm pretty impressed with. Impressed with myself. I could have. I reckon most people would have just gone, I can't do that, I need to get someone to recover me and pick me up and tow me home. And you can't, you wouldn't have been able to tow it, the problem is it was stuck in park. So because that trigger's gone, it was stuck in park, so you can't even, you can't even tow it. And uh, so I do need to look to see if there's a, a way to override that. I mean, I know now how to fix the trigger and that, but at the same time, that's not something that is ideal if you get stuck somewhere. Um, the way that the trigger is set up, I reckon I could have taken it apart and forced it to do what I wanted, you know, the trigger actual, the actual mechanism, um, without having fixed it. So given it, if I was in a bind, I reckon I could have taken that apart, that broken bit, I could have forced with a screwdriver to press down when I needed to. So if you do get stuck into that scenario, take it apart and you will be able to push down the trigger um, mechanism. If, if you really get stuck. But what a colossal pain in the ass. I wasn't expecting to film this. I wasn't expecting to be stuck in a car park when I had about a million and one things to do. I've even got some ribs on the barbecue. God knows what they'll be like now. Probably burnt to a cinder, so I've picked up a steak. Hopefully, um, that'll be all right. Anyway, I'm just gonna go and pick up Philly now from the airport. Come on, ticket. Is she here yet? Is she 
ready, or has she, is she still getting off the aeroplane? We'll, we will see. So I'm sat here waiting for Philly to get out of passport control. Hashtag Brexit. And I've got to say, that could have been catastrophically bad. Uh, I, like, I was up against the pump, like properly up against the pump. I was late getting out anyway. Um, I had to go get some dog food, then go to the supermarket, then come and pick up Philly, all within a very tight time um, schedule. And, uh, and so what I definitely did not need is this motherfucking car um, breaking down on me. Um, I've never fixed that before. I I've never even done it. I, I managed to teach myself, hashtag thanks YouTube, um, I managed to teach myself how to do it and do it in like 15 minutes. Crisis averted. That's me just taking a moment to appreciate my ballerness in that situation. If you can't, whatever, I don't give a shit. But that was dope. Right. Anyway, whatever. I have to say, look at that. Oh, V10! Is that the V10? It's the M5. That sounds naughty! It's disappeared now. Just as it came up. Bloody disappeared. Carbon lip on it as well. It looks pretty, uh, pretty mean, but it sounded... <sighs> Not like my diesel banger here. I can tell you that. We're now back home. I have the Barbie on. The sun is out. The sun is shining. I'm enjoying the last bit of the sun while I'm cooking up this monster. <laughs> bit of chicken, some corn, some ribs, and a nice marinated coat de boeuf. Yes. So a bit of an impromptu one. Really didn't want to have that as an issue. But if you've watched, it's a shit tutorial because I was under pressure, but at the same time, whatever, I fixed it. I'm proud of myself. Don't give me shit. Anyway, uh, we ready for war. Never back down. down. Give me some more. We came for the title, killing the game, dead on arrival. No mercy for rivals. This is for glory. This is our story. This is the future. This is my time. I grind and shine. I put in the work and push the line. I'm holding my crown.